Hello, hello again. It's Rowan Maxim. It's Trade Travel Trophy. We're in Sydney, uh, but now we're at a special place which I've never heard of before, and it's called Cockatoo Island. Kind of heard whispers about it, but um, I didn't know nothing about it. So I was on the ferry, and someone said, "Yeah, you can just get off and have a look." And there's all this old stuff here. I was like, "Cool." And the city's just over here where we had lunch this morning up um, Centre Point Tower, and then the bridge obviously is just right over there. But this place feels like Alcatraz looks on the TV. And you can just come here and walk all around. Well, as soon as I was getting off the ferry, the old security guard, he's onto me. He's like, uh, what are you doing over here? I said, I don't know. I'm coming for a look. And he's like, well, because we're closing pretty soon. I said, what, 8 o'clock tonight? And uh, current time is 20 minutes to 6. He's like, nah, 6 o'clock. I said, true. That's a bit shit. He's like, oh, all right, I'll give you until seven. So we've got one hour and 20 minutes to be back at the, at the boat thing. I don't know when the next ferry actually gets there, but I don't want to camp here. I'm, I'm freezing. <laughs> I'm freezing cold. I'm wet from head to toe. Wow, look at this joint. Here we are. Have a go at this place. Here's the old shitters. Wash your hands. Nine Fox was here. Watch out, he's coming back for you next. Okay, so they've kind of... Oh, it smells authentic in there. Look at this. This is amazing. And yeah, you can just come and walk around all you want. I guess. Super nice in the rain. Oh, holy shit. Check out this lathe. Ready? That one, that one's decent. Look at this big sucker. Hey, a lathe that you can climb onto. This is a giant. Sorry, I'm just not filming all that good. I want to go in there. It's on the other side of the fence. Are we going to get kicked out? Probably. Look at this lathe. Wow. This is the biggest lathe I've ever seen. Look at it. Hey, <laughs> check it out. Look at the big old four jaws. That's got to be. That's got to be four meters in diameter, just the chuck. A little oil thing here on it. Mad. And then look how long this lathe is. It's another big one. It's not. It's not as big as that weapon right there. This place is sick, but look how long this is. This one is Thomas Shanks and Company, John Stone. Look at it. You've got to be careful, <laughs> there's fucking holes in the ground. I didn't be in here all day long running this big unit. And then what's this thing here? What is this? Some kind of milling machine? It looks to be, I guess. Huge milling machine, but it hasn't got the head on it, maybe, or something like that. All right, we better get out of here somehow. Yeah, maybe we can sneak around here. And then I don't know what this is. There's a tin of peaches. And you move into the country. There you go, some more authentic shock treatment. Hey, we love the old shock treatment. Still full too. Take that on the, on the ferry. And then this here, some crane. It's an interesting lattice. And then what's this thing here? I don't know what that is. I'm also on the other side of the fence again. There's some lockers. Another engine crane. But hey, I'll tell them that the gate was open. Look. <laughs> There's a folding chair and what looks like mattresses. Yeah, mad. So I could take that with me. Some more folding chairs. 
So this place was a shipbuilding, shipbuilding place apparently. Obviously like Navy, military type stuff. Um, I don't know nothing. <laughs> You'll have to get on Google. Uh, heavy machine shop. Here we go. Look. Cool. There's the big girl right there. Turning up some massive stuff. I'll walk the camera. Let's have a quick look at some of these here machineries. Another lathe. Baby lathe. <laughs> Here's a, uh, I guess this is like a chopper of some kind for folding and whatnot. I'm not sure what this unit does. Maybe some kind of punch and bender. Looks to be chopper. That looks like a shear, it's like a chopper. And uh, over here, some kind of press. And then this thing here, just cogs. Man, this is sick. You can just come and hang out. Oh, I wish I knew about this earlier. I would have bloody spent days over here. All right, let's keep on keeping on. Is it still raining? <laughs> I don't want to get stuck on the island, have old mate chase me down. I'd ask him if I could rent a golf buggy off him, and he's like, nah. Not all right, oh, then. So... A bit more little tiny stuff. Oh, this is the restorations, okay. I'm pretty sure I'm the only person that came to Cockatoo Island today. It's a shame there's nothing in here. Oh, I'd love to bring a rally car out here and cut some laps. Um, but yeah, there's some cranes. Old steam cranes, well, especially that one is. That's cool. And I don't know what this one is. Travelling jib crane. Looks to be electric. Or at least it has wires on it. Yeah, it looks to be electric. Oh, look out. This place is like Alcatraz, I'm telling you. It is cool. Okay, so that thing we saw inside might be the bottom of a travelling jib crane. How am I going to get up the top? <laughs> There's some stairs. Oh, it's pissing down rain. I am not equipped for wet weather. At least we got the gimbal out for you guys, make a nice video. I want to kind of climb that big old crane over there. <laughs> um, we've got the safety boots. Which is, of course, pluggers. Here, look at this thing. What's this heap of crap? like half of a submarine or maybe I'm not sure no idea so this is the turbine shop I'm pretty sure this is sort of where we just were oh I'm mad there's a cave yeah so that's sort of where we were in the turbine shop this is sick I can't believe you can just come in for free they tell you that it's free oh the bloody tunnel's blocked off a bit Keep out. Oh, look at it go for miles too down there. Look. Dude. I want to go in there. Safety beneath the sandstone. Also known as the Stores Tunnel, the Dogleg Tunnel was built during World War II as an air raid shelter. Shifty stuff here. Five minutes to the visitor centre. So I guess it's open sometimes. <laughs> when they've got someone on the island to show you around. <laughs> oh, where do we want to go, people? Do we want to try and climb the big crane? Or do we want to go up the stairs and see what's at the top? Here, look. Oh, this tunnel's also closed, apparently. It's got a closed sign on it anyway. Tunnel 1. Oh, yeah, it's hella closed. <laughs> scaffolding in there all right let's hi-ho hi-ho these stairs all 
All right, here's the old shack. Shack's got no roof, can't go up here. These look like late model stairs. A bit later than some of this stuff. Oh yeah, so they might still be building some ships over here. This is an interesting crane. Let me sort of zoom it. See the counterweight on the on the boom? And then it's got these here counterweights. Alright, onward. Where are we going? I guess we're going all the way up here. Jesus. You're in the ship design precinct. Mad. So, yeah, I guess we're gonna hopefully see some drafts, drafting boards and stuff. Oh, oh you bastards. Uh, I want to go in there. All right, I can't go in there. There's nothing in there, but look anyway, it's proper raining at this point. The old camera phone, <laughs> um, you know, whatever, no cheat. <laughs> hey, what do I do for you? To bring you some content? Yeah, where are we going over here? <laughs> what is this place? Building 12. Everything's locked by the looks of it. It's in building 12. Oh, there's heaps of good stuff. Looks like the wood shop. Building 12. Here's a mad water tank tower thing. <laughs> Nothing like coming prepared. Here's the convict precinct. Do we want to go there? Oh, frig, all right. Let's go to the quarry and the lumber yard. So let's have a look in here, bunker. Quickly. Yeah, it's locked. Building two. Looks like old bunker or toilets. Oh. All right, so. Nothing. Uh, where do we go? <laughs> Type it in the chat. Choose your own adventure here at Berserkaroo Trade Travel Troopy here. Look at this place. This one looks a bit older, like convictish, And the roofs are all gone. I'm not sure what the roofs would have been made out of. Here, yeah, look, there's a sick crane. Hopefully we can climb that one. And then we can get kicked out in style. So here's some radiation. The X-ray laboratory. Oh, a big drop of water landed directly on my stuff. I've got the gimbal thing. Fire hose 55. All right. Convict, discover what convict life was like. So I'll take that if you want to QR scan it. You can, and then you can find out what it was like, but I already know what it was like. It was shit. <laughs> they were whipping you. They were, look, here's where they were whipping you out here. They drag you out here and tie you up the stuff probably over here. That's the drip stone, look at that. I don't know what that means. The drip stone. Right, and then they got this here. This is probably where the officers would have lived. The floor's a bit bouncier. Proper pissing down at this point. Oh <laughs> shit. Probably doesn't look that wet to you guys, but if I go out there, my phone is not going to survive. Sadly. Yeah, look at this old lock. Well, the lock's not very old, but the actual locking mechanism is. And then you got your peephole. And then, hey, and down here, and this is where they can pass you your tucker. All right, we've got a very brief reprieve in this rain. Uh, what's 
this. This is the prison, I reckon. Looks like it. Convict jail in here. Oh, yuck. I can see a toilet and there's something living in the top of it. <laughs> yuck, that's gross. That is the toilet and it's locked. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know what else. Let's go try climb that crane then. <laughs> I kind of want to get in this building actually. The old convict style latrine. Let's go over here. That's definitely the convict jail. It's got hectic bars on it. How are we liking this sort of a tour? The old turn up with 20 minutes until the whole island's closed. So this one at least you had a fireplace. Oh god, look at the hooks. Why is there so many hooks on the walls? Hey? And they're leaded in there, like they put them in and then they smash lead in there to keep them. At least it looks like lead. Why is there all the hooks? What were they hanging up in here? <laughs> Good thing you got an evacuation diary, but look, and they got these shooting holes. So they can shoot you. If you come near it, I guess this was where the officers lived in their bloody sea out there. Shoot you out and then it's got bars. I don't know whether they're to keep people out or in. Oh yeah, good at least there's another doorway. And then what's at the back of this place? I don't know, what's this place here? Another shanty town. Oh yes, this is the pergola, you can come and have your lunch, watch everyone slaving away down here. Nice. What a beautiful day, but it looks like it's not going to rain anymore, so we're in luck. <laughs> How's me commentary just talking bullshit? Oh, right, look at this crane, I want to climb it so bad. And then we've got this here, uh, what do you call them things, chimney, decent chimney. And the old electrical wiring and then these fire hose boxes are cool. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a friggin' video game, like one of them ones with the zombies. Resident Evils and all that sort of stuff. You got a gate down here, but like the stairs have long since gone. Ain't no stairs down there no more. Uh, all right, what's in here? box a uh, box this building quickly look nothing there's nothing in any of these buildings <laughs> what's going on here here look what's this one about <laughs> look at that drain it's squirting out water so I'm guessing this drain is blocked at the bottom but it must be full of water it's coming up and spraying over there Biloela, Biloela, interesting thing, 1893, so it's pretty old, convict precinct, yeah, so there you go, convicts were not there by choice, and then, I don't know what they were doing here on the side, some kind of pulley, um, alright, let's go down the flooded road. Because we want to go and we want to climb that. No, I'm not going to be. It's going to be so slippery, dude. Look at this. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you can go underneath the convict thing. That might have been the prison. Oh, let's look in there. It looks sketchy as heck. Wow, it looks proper sketchy in here. Solitary confinement cells. There you go. Ugh. Oh, Jesus. You chucky in there, man. They would. Chuck in there. Not allowed to use these stairs because they're that worn. From all of the people getting chucked in solitary and then, yeah. Oh, dude, that's so gross. You've been in here forever. Till you died in here. This sucks. Ooh, it feels gross. But yeah, I guess that's what happens to you. Oh, man. 
man, look out. There's proper cell in here. This one's still got the floorboards. And then it's got a got a door. Oh, I'm fucking genuinely afraid to look in that little peephole, man. This is terrifying, eh? Gross. Oh, it's so small. And then yeah, they've got a this probably can't see an original style lock. So you can't open it luckily. <laughs> That's terrifying. And here's the remains of the original. Can you see the original um, like gate? It's very rusted, there's not much left. And then what's in this one, the same. Ugh. Gross, I'd rather stay in a pod hotel, thank you very much. All right, that was not feels good. <laughs> Whatever the word for that is, sickening. Bloody locked in there, and after they whip you, they whip you that much till you bleed off the back and then chuck you in there. All right, let's go. Fun and games on Convict Island. I think we're playing Survivor. So here looks like the slipway, or at least one slipway. And the sign's overgrown. So they had some fair sized ships here. Look at this one. Number 304. Bunch of people down here in a little thing and then they brought out all the choir boys of course a bit of a ceremony building and launching ships so yeah you can uh, camp on this island I'm not sure I'd imagine you would have to pay for that otherwise all homeless people would come and camp out here maybe there's no food <laughs> you could have to fish but um, so here's where they've got all of the tents I guess you can rent these. You could have a look on Google. I haven't because I just heard about Cockatoo Island existing just the other day. Just what? Today. About half an hour ago. So there's some more of Tunnel 1. And let's go climb this crane and get kicked out of Cockatoo Island. What do you reckon? <laughs> we'll go have a look at the chimney. And... But yeah, I think it's just me here and the couple of security guards that I saw. I mean, there's a fence, but there's not any signs that I can see yet. In fact, uh, so here's a wooden boat. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about much, am I? <laughs> but I'm not sure what. The story is with that. This looks like half decent boat back in the day. There's no swimming. Children must be supervised. A bit of garbage washed up there. So there is a fence, but there so far is no signs to say not to climb this. Crane number 300. It's awesome. Wow, look at it. Oh, they've got a thing over it. So they've got plywood over the ladder. I could still climb it pretty easy, to tell you the truth. Like, really, really easily. I want to climb it badly. <laughs> Look at the floor up there though. <laughs> I'm just looking, is it even safe to climb? Probably not, ready? Look at the floor. Hang on, where is it? That there, that's the floor. Looks like the wash plant at Siraji coal mine. Look at the other floor on this side, it's the same, man. It, yeah, and look up the very, very top, right up near the rope sheave and that. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna slice your leg off climbing that fucking straight up. <laughs> so I guess, you know, not today. Here comes the ferries. We've got one, two, three. Hopefully they're not the last ferries of the day. What time is it? Oh, it's only, look, it's only ten past six. Smashing it. 
Smashing the Cockatoo Island Express Tour. Here, look in here. What do we got? Hey, nice new kitchen. I guess this is for the campers now. The fridge. Kind of thirsty. Right. Got no drinks. Except for what we found back earlier in the... Um, what's it called? Packet smokes in there. If you want some, come to Cockatoo Island. And then there's like a rope doodad with a weight, I guess, that can shut the doors or something, counterweight. And then, here we go, the big chimney. Oh, you can go in there even. Oh, look at the door on it. Oh, why is it like this? <laughs> Where's the door going? Crazy. So what were they cooking up? Oh wow, look, you can go all the way to the top. Gooey! <laughs> Sweet! This place is super cool. You can just come here and walk around and there's no one else here. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, I feel like I'm living in bloody the metaverse. It's just me. The world exists for my entertainment. And now through the power of camera phones, also your entertainment. Danger, please watch your head. Ah! Frighten the shit out of me. First people I've seen in bloody, since we got here. <laughs> I was just saying the whole place is mine. Here, what's this place? This place is echoey. This has been another Whipping room. Old mate's on me. He heard me saying I'm going to climb that bloody crane. I reckon look, now I can climb up here. Uh, where is it? Up here. And then. And then. Choo -choo. And then. You. Oh, where are we now? What the heck? <laughs> okay. So now. We're outside again, this is a boiler, a tank of some description, and let's have a look in here. This looks like the flammables cabinet. And then there's the actual ocean, and then this is like a barge of some kind, or... Mm, not, oh, I guess this is like a gate, and this might be a dry dock, eh? And that gate comes across, that's what it looks like. And that gate will cut, cross over there back in the day. And then you pump all that. Oh, was that open? No, Is it quickly? Can I just have a squeeze? Are you really going to do me like that? Did you lock it? No photos? In there? Oh, you suck. You suck, eh? Is that what's in here, all of these? And you're not going to let me look? Yeah, sorry. You anus. What a complete cunt. Honest to God, look, all the turbines are in there. And this guy is like, nope. Fuck that guy. Oh, what a prick. Hey, it is in there too, all the turbines. Oh well, you gonna climb up or what? That guy's an asshole. Uh, he didn't like me getting here late, and then anyway, there's got to be a way in. <laughs> there has to be. Like he would know, he is the security guy. That was like that's obviously the best room in the house. I might have to come back in the morning just to go in there. me off to tell you the truth. So there's all the wiring coming out. This is the powerhouse. Look at this on the ground. That guy's a dick. Bring me shifter back, bust a few of these locks. <laughs> You don't even want to go down there. 
It smells. So here we are. We've got the tunnel. We're at the tunnel part. At least it's a little bit of a tunnel. It's got a uh, overhead gantry crane thing here, so I guess you could like back a truck up under here and offload all the bits for the turbine haul for the powerhouse. This is pretty cool. Dare say, old dog boy, men, you know, all them convicts that they had over that other place. All right, well, let's go have a look at the big crane then. Uh, trying not to be perpetually aggravated by that guy. Hey, showing off that lady. What's he trying to bloody trying to get some brownie points with that lady? Show her the freaking turbine hall. Don't let me in there. An a hole. <laughs> I'm genuinely annoyed about that. And here's some um, old cable reels from back in the day when it was called Telecom, which is now called Telstra. And then up along the wall here, it's pretty cool. All the stuff's running here. And they've got like wooden clamps nowadays. They're called Storf. Storf clamps, the company that makes those. And yeah, some quite large uh, bollards for tying off, I guess, quite large ships. All along here is bollards, so I don't know if I'm correct or not about this being a dry dock. But you know me, I'm always correct about everything, aren't I? And then up here, some nice caves where the uh, ferns are growing in. And then they've chopped a nice square bloody thing here for some reason. Back in the day, there's probably a wooden staircase. I would imagine it went straight up and down there because there's no other reason to cut that like that really uh, and here look big capstan winch so this here can spin around well actually this looks like you've got to put bits of wood in here and pull on it to make it spin I was gonna say where's all the mechanism for it but I think she's a It's a full manual job this one. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that open. And then you got this cave here. God, that's creepy as heck. Ugh, there's mattresses or something in there. Ugh. What's that? I don't even want to know what's in there, tell you the truth. Look at the railway line curved for the supports. That's pretty cool bits of concrete and that but again all hand dug by look at this and it would have had a brick brick wall door thing there once upon a time yeah there's some cool ladders up up the wall there all right let's go so you can book a ghost tour here you go, forty-seven dollars, two hours, nine p.m. Fridays and Saturdays. There's your ghost tour, sandstone and steel tour, sixteen bucks, one thirty Sunday. So we're a little bit late. We could have done that, and then the lower island tour, sixteen bucks, eleven a.m. Sunday. So here's the generator. Look at this thing. This is cool. I guess you wind that to pick how many of these you want. <laughs> pump some amps all right we better hurry up so yeah so now some people are bringing their large ships here for all right park them up get the barnacles off that's shut so we might not even be able to get anywhere near this humongous crane which does not look like it's still in use because of the shape of the hook that's on it looks old and the whole thing looks old and the actual cabin driver's cabin looks to be plated over with sheet metal oh it's scary here <laughs> it's proper scary i like how everything's proper rustic and um patina like this was a red fire pipe but now it's no longer red so battery is getting flat on the phone 
Um, hopefully it saves this video. <laughs> And this is the end, my friends. Do you reckon this is the end of the video or are we going to find some more mischief? Look at the no smoking thing, it looks amazing. It was all hand painted back in the day, they do the outline. And because it had slightly thicker paint, it's still there a little bit longer. Naval store number one, that's where you can store your belly button lint. What do we got around here? There's a hard hat. <laughs> I should wear it. That'll be piss funny. Uh, I could climb everything I'd like to climb with the hard hat on. Some junk. It's just all sorts of junk back here. Yeah, some drill bits, uh, drivers. It's only the shit ones left, but squares and uh, in torques. What are they called? In torques. Uh, what's in here? Nothing. Everything's locked. This place sucks. <laughs> Everything that's unlocked's got nothing in it. Everything that's good is locked. But anyway, there you go. So that's Cockatoo Island in a minute. Here, look, this one's open. <sighs> Means we've got to go back up the stairs. But we didn't go up there to that top level up there, so. <sighs> Unless old mate's up there. Taking his special lady for a bloody after dark tour. Extra, what's it called? Extracurricular activities. All right, let's go. Before it rains again, I don't really think there's much down that way either. It looks all fenced and locked. Alright, stairs, ready? <laughs> Are you ready, kids? <laughs> oh. Southern stairs. All right. Let's -a go. Want to get you? At least to look at something before the phone dies. Here's a nice little davit winch or davit crane, what they call it. So you can drop. Yeah, right. Oh, so that is a mad dry dock. Cool. Here's the boys and the girls. A couple of girls. You can tell they were promo girls for the bloody brand new clothes. Right? They bought them out. For the photo shoot, we've seen that before. Here's the real, real workers. Lads on the hammer. What are you hammering, man? <laughs> like, all right, we're going up. Oh, this is them stairs that I said were a bit newer. Hey, we've got carpet. Hey, we've got bean bags. We got a scene, what's it called? Theater movie, theater screen thing. Got any more drinks? Yeah, all right, there you go. So, I think we're about finished. <laughs> this building's probably in the best condition. All the steel work's still gorgeous. Okay. It's not super old because it is nuts and bolts. The real old stuff's all rivets. You can hear uh, the mold loft. During the shipbuilding era, the mold loft was where complete sets of full scale templates were prepared by the loftsmen for the fabrication of steel components of ships. So 
you can see the faint markings on some of the ships built. So they drew it on the ground. I guess that's, oh, it's over here. Yeah, right. So they have the patterns painted on the timber and then I guess make them out of paper or something and copy it. You can see all the nail holes as well. That's cool. That's super cool. And then here they've covered with some um, carpet. All right, let's go. <laughs> so if you also want to come to Cockatoo Island, just make sure you turn up quicker, like sooner than 20 minutes before closing or the guy's going to get the shits <laughs> and not let you look at nothing. Here's the old convict's drain. And then, I don't know if we were in this building. It stinks. This is where they would have hosed you down with some freezing cold water. Just because they like to do that to you. Back in the day. <coughs> okay. I think we've seen enough. Well, let's look about the dripstone. What was the dripstone? Dripstones are believed to have originated from Norfolk Island, right? A known source of colonial dripstones as large deposits of similar limestone were available. Dripstones were designed to capture and purify water. The porous block of limestone was hollowed out and suspended in a frame. Rain or other water was collected in the bowl and allowed to drain. As the water leached slowly through the stone, impurities and particles were filtered out, leaving clear, clean water to seep out below. This was used for drinking water for convicts. The wooden cradle has been recreated on a based on similar things and this and that. And all right, so yeah, you put your water in there, and by the time it soaks out, that's your good water. They reckon they were giving convicts good water, were they? That'll be the freaking day. <laughs> Poison in your water even today. So look at this floor. This floor has been used. Hey, look at the wear in it. It's incredible. Here's the cookhouse, okay? So this was the kitchen. And because this is all sandstone, that's why it wears down so much. So here would have been all benches where people weren't walking. You can even see like the outline of the bench and there, just by where people have been walking and not. <clears throat> and then yeah, the ovens is here. And you put your fire in here. It comes up out the chimney for some reason. The chimney's been stoned up or something. I can't really read all of that, but 1839 to 1841 it was. Oh yeah, look. So where's the that thing? Mess, oh, this is the whole thing? Yeah, the cookhouse. Okay, yeah, you can see the bench. It was right here. Wicked. All right, that's it. Let's go. What's the time? What else have they got? The most cramped conditions. Overcrowding. 500 convicts were housed. Sixty-three in one dormitory. Hey, I don't feel too bad in the old, um, in the old pod. So it's six thirty. Coffin-like apertures opening on a narrow central passage. There are double tiers of double sleeping berths, and they had night tubs for the common use of the men, which is pissing and shitting for 12 hours they're locked up. He often sees them at the iron gratings gasping for fresh air from without and he wonders how can they live. Hey? Absolutely disgraceful. Lock in here. These are your windows. You got I reckon's 107, 170 at some time there was 500 in here. Gasping for fucking air. Hey? For doing what? Trying to survive. 
most likely. So there's the steps I'm allowed to walk down because they've been too used taking people down to solitary confinement. They've worn the steps out. And that, my friends, shall conclude heritage signage only, not in service. So, the old fire thing. It's pretty cool looking fire hose and here's the officers they haven't got graded windows gasping for air in here that's for sure got a nice little light night light up there so look it's even painted and everything it's like rendered it's all cut real square real nice and of course look here we go talk about symbolism right you got your three circles one two three cut into the squares with more circles so it's just square and compass here three different circles again square and compass it's all freemasons right there this is not original you can tell this has been added on to the side for some reason I'm not sure when obviously but it doesn't look anything <laughs> like the rest of it and up the top there you can see where the electricity came in Hopefully this hasn't been too much of a whirlwind tour for you. Not much happening inside. <clears throat> there you go, alright, Cockatoo Island, pretty cool. I'm glad I got off the ferry. Terrible place, but being out here, 12 hours locked up, bloody one pot. This is water drinkable, you reckon? Oh, the tap's fucking seized. Oh, it's completely seized. <laughs> uh huh. Yes, yes. So uh, they've been adding on to this building here for quite a bit. Look here at the front again, square and compass. So they've got another one, right? So there's three all together on the one side and only one by itself on this side. So there's four, but there's three and one. Again, square and compass. Still want to climb that crane, <laughs> but, you know, we'll come back. We'll come back, we'll do a night mission. We'll camp some stealthy, we'll get a jet ski. We'll get some black face paint. <clears throat> Rightio, that's it, Cockatoo Island. Um, I've got nothing more to say. That's bloody. It feels really yuck to even look at those solitary cells, to tell you the truth. Like, <sighs> look at the bars up here. Guys were gasping for air for 12 hours. And then in here, oh, the x ray lab. I wonder what they were x raying, eh? Hold you down and x ray you. <laughs> Wouldn't doubt it. I'm sure it's about x raying for steel, looking for cracks or something. You would hope. But has been known to happen. You can get cold drinks and stuff there. I didn't see that little walkway. But anyway, we're out of time at Cockatoo Island. It's about to rain again. I think we've seen most of it. It was pretty cool. <coughs> A couple more buildings up here. Definitely very much looks like Alcatraz from what I've seen. I didn't actually get to go to Alcatraz and it feels like that. It feels gross over here. You can climb this water tank here. There's the original water tank up there. A couple more sheds, building 13. The old building seven. Building 7 didn't kill itself. Here we going up here, I guess. This is like the tourist part of the island. 
Like, yeah, yeah, it's Cockatoo Island. It's really nice. We're just building ships. And then you're like, oh, what's all that screaming coming from down the back? And the gasping. <laughs> oh, yeah, nah. That's just the cockatoos. <laughs> so what's this video length now? 50 minutes of hearing squishing pluggers on the on the wet ground. Oh cool. Here's something else we didn't see. Glad I got to see that gigantic lathe anyway. That was awesome. Here's a, I don't know, structure. And over there's a, another bit of a shed thing. I don't know what this was. Residence precinct. This is. So yeah, this is where you can just live. On beautiful Cockatoo Island. Do not enter down there, that makes me want to enter. <laughs> and 7.37, uh, 6, 6.37, sorry, so we'll go back. We'll go back down here now, fucking cool, that was awesome. So if you're in Sydney and you haven't came to Cockatoo Island and you're into industrial stuff, there's not all that much left, but there's a little bit. The uh, cliff top walk, tennis court, and the convict silos. You reckon the convicts were playing much tennis? Well, we'll go this way first and have a look at the East Apron. So they had the Cruiser Wharf, and there's a bunch more buildings down here. Obviously, all the light fab, medium fab, the pipe fab, plumbers, pipe fab, coppersmiths, sheet metal, the boiler shop, blacksmith shop heat treatment, the fitter welders and the toilets were all here. So you can still see some tiles there. This bit filled in. This guy said, buddy, I got till seven, so I'm gonna use it. Here they've covered in nets, because it looks like they tie you up out here. Honestly, I don't know what's going on in here. It's creepy. It's starting to rain heavy again. So, go have a look at the tennis court. Cliff top walk, yeah, it is a fair way, actually. Look at this, Woody. <laughs> Quite the ways down. So, you fancy yourself a spot of tennis after your cat of nine tailings. We can come over here, have a jolly good game. The old wind. Anometer, what's it called? The wind measuring unit. It's still turning. We don't build them like they used to. This has been re screwed with stainless screws. They didn't have in hex back in the day, and all of this walkway is like galvanized steel. So it's not authentic. That pipe looks pretty authentic, but. Wrapped in some kind of bitumen or the old cast iron pipe. Look at it. Ew. That's cool. <clears throat> Concrete stairs, reasonably old but not very. But this here stone probably would have been. Holiday letting, so you can probably rent that house right there. Bring your own cat of nine tails. Stay for the weekend. How do I get down from here? Hey, was there stairs? Don't know. No, nah, no stairs. There's a big chess game down there. So I guess we're gonna have to go all the way back. <laughs> around so that'll do oh there's the ferry fuck there's the ferry all right let's run <laughs> are we gonna make it no <laughs> maybe they'll wait if they see me running look at this rock oh it's 
it's slippery as. Oh, it's proper slippery as. <laughs> We're not going to make it. <laughs> He's going too fast. <laughs> and I'm going in the wrong direction. Oh. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> this is... oh, come on, man. Oh, I'm going to blow my leg out. <laughs> so slippery. All right, let's go. <laughs> I reckon he's gonna wait. <laughs> he's gonna wait. I'm gonna get him. Hey! <laughs> oh! <No. laughs> hey! Hey! Goodbye, security. Goodbye, Cockatoo Island. Stop. Yo, Ferry! Hey! Hey! We're running. We're running. Hey!